Hey everybody, it's me, Super Paul Games. Welcome back to the Ranch of Awesome. Can I open the door, please? Thanks. Why are there always people shooting around our ranch? Old friends, new problems. John, oh, we got a telegram from some lady friend of yours, a Ooh. Bonnie something or other. Something you ain't telling me? Bonnie McFarland. She's a friend. Mm. Saved my life when I went after Bill and nearly got myself killed again. Oh, now you two's in the habit of sending each other letters. How very nice. It weren't nothing like that. What's it say? I don't know. I can't... Well, you know I can't read. Give it here. You read that thing out loud. I ain't hiding nothing. Get off my butt, Dear woman. Mr. Marston, stop. Need corn sacks. Stop. Emergency. Stop. Weevils and moths ate entire county supply. Stop. Can you help? Not exactly the most romantic request, now, is it? I guess not. She saved your life, you say? Yes, ma'am. Well, then you're gonna have to help her and her family out. We've got a plentiful supply of corn sacks over near the silo. About the one thing Uncle didn't manage to have stolen while we was gone. Okay. Hurry back, John. And John, what's she like? Well, uh, you know, a little bit like you, I guess. She's a woman in a man's world. <laughs> All right, get my sacks over to Miss McFarlane. What did I used to call her? Horse teeth or some shit? It's probably rude. I'm rude a lot. <laughs> All right, horses. Can I get on my damn wagon? John, wait. All right. I changed my mind. I'm coming with you. Well, come on, man. Let's get going. The giant stop watching the sky says I must ride. Tell me a story, I lovely think wife. I can let you go off again without me. Fair enough. I'm glad of the company. You only had to ask. Ask? I was waiting for you to ask me. I thought you'd want to keep an eye on the boy. Oh, while well, you were off cavorting with cowgirls in the next county? I don't think so, John Martin. You only just got home. That Jack has seen enough of me for a lifetime. So, is she married? This Pawnee McFarland? No. What does she look like? A woman? Pretty normal, I suppose. Normal? What? Normal like me? No. Normal as in two eyes, mouth, nose, that kind of normal. Besides, ain't no woman fine as you. A little flattery. Now we're finally getting somewhere. <laughs> if you find yourself in a hole, First thing to do is stop digging. Another pearl of wisdom from John Martin. I sure do miss those. I never took you for the jealous type, Abigail. I ain't jealous so much as curious. You heard what she wrote. It's just some corn. She saved my life and she was decent enough to me, so I owe her this much at least. No, no. Horses. I know I have a place there. Don't tell my wife about my little getaway there. Bunch of assholes, John, used to run with. Those government bastards. Where did they hold you and Jack? I ain't sure. They kept their eyes covered there and back. Can't have been too far from here, though. They treat you right? It ain't the first time I've had a gun to my head, John. You're forgetting your marriage proposal. Very fun. No, so, they learned pretty quick what would happen if they laid a finger on me. Son of a bitch. It wasn't them or being there. I didn't care about that. I've been in far worse situations. Well, here we are, Miss Bonnie McFarlane. You came. Thank you so much. We lost the entire harvest. Miss McFarlane, 
I'd like you to meet my wife, Abigail. Oh, ain't you a gentleman all of a sudden? It's a pleasure to meet you, Mrs. Marston. Likewise, thank you for saving my husband's life and for teaching the miserable goats manners, among other things. I didn't teach him anything. I know better than to try to change a man. You should meet my father. Oh, people can change, Miss McFarland. John and I have to believe that more than anybody. This is a decent first harvest for you, John. You should be proud. That's good land you got there. How are you feeling, Mrs. Marston? From what your husband told me, it must have been awful for you. I've been through worse, and I knew he'd be back before too long. He can't cook a meal to save his life. <laughs> Abigail, in my darkest hours, when I was most homesick, just the thought of one of your rat meat stews kept me pushing forward. Well, about as amusing as a weeping saddle sore, ain't he, Mr. Farley? You're gonna start yammering about women's work, John. I'd say you might be in the wrong company. I'd say so, too. I never felt so outnumbered. Here's your corn. Or maize, as the Tino call it. <laughs> Bye, Bonnie. Thanks, or you're welcome. I forgot what I was doing. I'm used to her helping me out. Aw, oh, she likes John. Too bad he's spoken for. Nice pants. Ma'am? Stiff breeze up her pants and they pop up like balloons and she'd fly away like Mary Poppins. Alright, I'm gonna drive the woman home. Let's go home, wife. So that was the famous Bonnie. That was her, alright. She's pretty. She's normal, like I said. Well, you always wanted to be a rancher. I'd have thought she'd be just your thing. The perfect rancher's wife, if I ever saw one. I already got a rancher's wife. I'm only teasing. I like her. And I'm glad she saved your life. Most of the time, anyway. The McFarlands are good people. She did blush better than a shepherd's sunset when she saw you, though. I have that effect on women. <laughs> you clearly had one too many blows to the head. You ain't wrong about that, Mrs. Martin. Speaking of blowing heads, wife, how about you get on blowing my head? That's quite a ranch they got there. That'll be us someday. As soon as we get back on our feet. I don't know, John. How many times can we start again? Outlaw and a working girl. We ain't exactly farmers. We are now. Forget that life. It's over. Do you really believe that? We have to. It's the only way we'll ever have a future. The life we led, that doesn't go away. It's never over. You think those government men are just gonna leave us alone now? The old gang's dead. I did what they asked. And that's it? The life is proud for killing? We're back together, ain't we? Until they decide you owe them something else. Sometimes I think I was the stupid one for believing I could get out. Maybe Dodge, Bill, and Javier were just being honest with themselves. You ain't perfect, John, and I sure ain't. But you're better than they are, than they were. Maybe we can't change, but we gotta try, for Jack's sake. Even if we have to start again a hundred times, it's better than going back to what we were. I'm gonna ruin the cart on the way back. How's Jack doing? Angry, upset. He's been through a lot. I hope he's gonna be all right. It's gonna take time. For a while, his world was safe. Normal, even. Then it got turned upside down again. He ain't saying much about it. I've tried to talk to him, but how do you explain any of this? What do you say when he asks about Uncle Bill and Uncle Dutch? They were his family when he was a little boy. He hides away in those books of his. Wouldn't you? It ain't like the real world's done him many favors. He's just been kidnapped. He grew up with the gang. That's no lie for a boy. We did our best to protect him. Come on, John. He saw things no boy should see. It's a pleasant ride and all, but I'd like to get back sometime today. We're almost home, well, woman. Now we got a chance to make it right. Can I put my dick in your fun hole now? Good today, John. I guess I better go fix us something to eat. Come on, you're all jealous. Let's make sexy times. Bye.
Well, that mission was lots of talking. Something's got to get blowed up. Adios. Oh, shit! Get off of me, horses. Damn horses. What do I got? For your insolence, horses, I reward you with fire! What? You horses suck. Can I set my cart on fire? Come on, ride horses. They should be like running through the field, burning shit. Oh well. Hey, uncle. Guess what? Oh, how surprised will you poop pee? <laughs> to piss. <laughs> you can hear him scream. <laughs> I'll see y'all next time.